Director of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban, Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Mr. Sapiwe M. Chunu, Mr. Piyush Khandelwal, distinguished guests and online viewers. Namaskar and welcome to a very colorful program, Rango Utsav, or the Festival of Holi, known as the Festival of Color. Just a brief history on Holi. Holi is a popular ancient Hindu festival known as the Festival of Love or the Festival of Colors and the Festival of Spring. The festival celebrates the eternal and divine love of Sri Bhagwan Krishna and Radha Rani. It signifies the triumph of, of good over evil and it's originated and predominantly celebrated in India, but is also spread to other regions of Asia and the Western parts of the world through diaspora from the Indian subcontinent. Yes, indeed, we welcome you to Rango Utsav and to commence today's uh, program, I would like to invite Adhya Arvin and Adhvika Dadwal to give us a little insight on Holi. Folk songs of Holi. This ritual 
is believed to be in existence since the time of Lord Krishna. Or even go to Basana, the village of Radha Rani, with his friends to play Holi. The Radha Rani and her friends start chasing away Lord Krishna and his friends. In southern India, Holi is celebrated in Kerala as Manjal Koli by the Kud Umdi community. It, it symbolizes victory of Goddess Durga over a demon. A mud co crocodile is created to symbolize the goddess who believed to have helped the people of this community migrate from Goa to Kerala. What is mixed with turmeric and poured on each other. People sing and dance to folk music for four days. The diverse celebration of Holi is played with rainbow colors amongst people of different caste, creed, color and culture. Let's enjoy this festival of color and enjoy this grand color to each other's lives. Happy Holi! Holy Kishukamnai. Yes, indeed. Thank you to the dynamic trio. And that is Adya, Arvin, and Advika Dadwal for that very interesting story on Holi. Something a bit vibrant, exciting is dance performances by the students of Miss Yogambal Singaram and a dance the dances are a Kolatam dance which is known as a stick dance and the Gumar dance. The Kolatam dance will be performed by Mikashni Naidu, Sanjana Naidu, Dia Viran, Divyani Odiar, Kiano Gavinda, Dia Gaudin, Karushka Naika, and Tiasha Naidu. Gumar will be performed by Urvashini Patta, Sayuri Naidu, Tigan Chetty, Tanushri Patta, Tiana Naidu, and Sumara Naidu.
Yes, indeed, that in, was indeed a splendid performance by the students of Ms. Yogambal Singaram, showing us how color can be incorporated through dance. Next, we have a mesmerizing performance, a Kathak performance by Mr. Manesh Maharaj, a senior Kathak dancer from South Africa, Durban. Hori, which celebrates the Festival of Colors, welcoming the spring season. Shri Krishna and the Gopikas are the central characters in this folk melody set in Vraja. Just like the many colors of Hori, Abir, Gulal, Kumkum, Kesar, etc. Similarly, we experience the different emotions expressed between Krishna and the Gopikas. Sometimes it is of joy and divine love. At other times, it is of separation and searching. Sometimes it is of mischievousness and annoyance. And through all of this quarreling, there may have been some harsh words exchanged. But nevertheless, although the Gopika may seem annoyed at Krishna's antics, she actually relishes in his company and secretly desires that he continue. Kathak, as you can see, is primarily a solo art form. As the Kathakar, I have to embody all the characters, be it male or female. I have to transcend the gender barrier, transcend this physical body, and dance with the spirit, which is devoid of gender. I have to surrender to the role of the Gopika, to feel her love and devotion to her Lord. In other words, to become the devotee, I have to become the milkmaid. This is the beauty of dance. Composed once again in a rag malika, tal malika, a garland of different ragas and talas. Once again, reflective of the many colors of Hori, I present our final offering for the festival, Kelo Nandalal Sang, Rang Bhari Hori, Hori. Did it not? Can 
for always giving us a spellbound performance. Next, telling us the significance of Holi are members of the Vishwashakti Academy of South Africa, and that is Jyoti and Puja Munsami, as well as Sayana and Ramania Kupa. Namaste. Hi everyone, I'm Jyoti and I'm Pooja and today we will be answering some very important questions regarding the Festival of Holi. Before we get started with the questions and answers, we'd just like to remind everybody of how Holi is celebrated here in South Africa. People usually go to open areas with their friends and families and play with colour. This year, however, due to COVID regulations, we're hoping that people stay home and stay safe. In this video, we will be asking some questions and we hopefully will be getting some very insightful answers from my very cultured and educated system. The first question is about the rituals and festivities surrounding Holi. One of the biggest rituals that everyone observes during Holi is the burning of Holika or also referred to as Holika Dehen or more colloquially, the bonfire. This happens generally before the holy festivity starts, before everyone starts throwing colour on each other. There's a bonfire that's lit, typically in the middle of the grounds during holy, in South Africa that is, and everyone offers different kinds of seeds, it's most popularly popcorn, into the fire and we pray for good health, wealth and prosperity and the triumph of good over evil. The next question is regarding the Harvest Festival. The celebration of the Harvest Festival in India coincides with the celebration of Holi. For many, Vasant Panchami is actually what Holi is in India. So what happens is many villages and cities throughout India have what is called the Vasant Mela or the Spring Fair or Festival during which a lot of people pray for the harvest, that the first harvest is good, green and lush and keeps the nation fed. The next question is surrounding the symbolism of Holi. Okay, so the answer to this question lies in a little bit of a story. So I'm sure everyone is familiar with the story of Lord Nursing and how he had incarnated with the sole purpose of protecting his ardent devotee Sri Prahalad Maharaja from his father Hiranyakashipu. So there came a time where Prahalad's father had tried to kill him on multiple occasions for being a devotee of Lord Vishnu. And on one such occasion, Prahlad was tricked into sitting on his aunt's lap, her name was Holika, on a burning pyre. And it just so happened that Holika had received a boon from Lord Brahma that made her indestructible by fire. 
So while sitting on that burning pyre, Prahlad was saved by his devotion to Lord Vishnu, but Holika, as punishment for having misused her boons, was burnt instead. This is where Lord Vishnu had saved his devotee, but Holika had burned, which symbolizes the triumph of good over evil. The final question is surrounding the precautions that should be taken during Holi. Conclusion. Other than the necessary precautions surrounding COVID, like wearing a mask, maintaining social distancing, sanitizing at regular intervals, and washing your hands almost every 10 to 15 minutes, there are other precautions that need to be taken during Holi as well. Now, even though you may not be able to go to grounds and celebrate with your friends and families in massive gatherings, it is still possible to apply color to each other at home and have your own little Holi festival. But while doing this, please remember that Holi powders contain a lot of chemicals that are harmful to skin. Not just human skin, but to animals as well. A lot of you are pet lovers. Please do not apply this color to your pets. And please avoid areas like that are sensitive like eyes, nose, mouth, etc. Before we sign off, I would just like to express our gratitude to everyone who took time to watch this video. And I'd also like to state that the views expressed in my answers in this video reflect the opinion of myself through knowledge that I have researched, gained through word of mouth, and things that I have deduced from religious texts over the years. They do not reflect the views of any individual or organization and my aim was definitely not to offend anyone and please drop a comment if I have gotten anything wrong, I would love to further my knowledge. On behalf of Vishwa Shakti, we wish everyone celebrating a very happy and very prosperous and also very safe Holi. And if anything we said did offend you, you know what they say. Pura Namano Holi hai! Sarna, what do you think Holi is? I think Holi is a day that we celebrate colors. And what else? And a day that we celebrate health. Good girl. Holi is a day that is a festival of love and colors. It's also sometimes called a festival of love. So just like Diwali, um, which is the celebration of lights. lights. Good girl. Holi is a day that we celebrate love and colors. And what do you think we do on Holi? Um, we take colorful power, powder and throw it at each other. And, and have lots of fun. And have lots of fun. And we can also um, get some water balloons and throw it and <laughs> bust it at each other. That's correct. But then inside the house it will get all my stuff. And that's why we do it outdoors, in the open, with a whole lot of people. Like with Vishu Shakti, we go for a festival. Well, we couldn't do it last year and we couldn't do it this year because of COVID-19. But every other year, Vishu Shakti celebrates Holi. I think Vishu Shakti has allowed us to unite as a family and have lots of colors, especially throughout our productions and, uh, you know, camps just being as a family it's itself Vishwa Shakti as a family lots of color lots of vibration lots of vibrant life and unity and oneness so happy holy happy holy happy holy Thank you ladies for that story and significance on how and why Holi is celebrated in South Africa. Moving off to India for something very vibrant, very exciting is a song in Bengali by Mr. Arnab Bhattacharya. Matal, 
পায়ের তালে খামক বেজেছে পায়ের তালে কুমোর নেচেছে মনের রঙে ডুবছে মাতাল মনের রঙে ডুবছে মাতাল পায়ের তালে খামক বেজেছে পায়ের তালে কুমোর নেচেছে বসন্তের ডাক এসেছে বসন্তের ডাক এসেছে পালা এখন শুরু হয়েছে পালা এখন শুরু হয়েছে মনের রঙে ডুবছে মাতাল মনের রঙে ডুবছে মাতাল পায়ের তালে খমক বেজেছে পায়ের তালে কোমর নেচেছে পায়ের তালে কোমর নেচেছে পায়ের তালে খমক বেজেছে পায়ের তালে কোমর নেচেছে বসন্তের ডাক এসেছে পালা এখন শুরু হয়েছে পালা এখন শুরু হয়েছে Thank you so much Arnab ji for that beautiful video we indeed really got to see how Holi can be celebrated by all languages as well as all um, people of just enjoying music and color. Next, we have a song by Mr. Carolyn Cavender and the song is titled Mangan Mandir Kolo and he will be accompanied by Mr. Manesh Maharaj who is a Kathak dancer. Please open the door of happiness for me. Happiness. Happiness. Mangala mandir ko lo dhaya maya. Mangala mandir ko lo. Mangala mandir ko Jeeva 
much Carolyn Ji and Manish Ji for that soulful performance. Next, we have a very beautiful performance by a very pretty girl from the Gujarati 
ke uh, Sanskriti Kendra and their team is called the Kendra Young Divas. <laughs> performance. Next, moving back to India, Vrindavan, the birthplace of Bhagwan Sri Krishna. We have an awesome performance by the Madhavas Rock Band. Rang bar se, rang bar se, rang bar se, rang bar se. Rang bar se naache Krishna Murari Rang bar se Rang bar se naache Radha Pyaari Rang bar se Rang bar se naache Krishna Murari Rang bar se Rang bar se naache Radha Pyaari Rang bar se Eh bar se bar se Rang bar se bar se Bar se bar se Naya namur jan sun ko bar se Murari Rang Bar Se 
as much as we did. I would like to now invite Mr. Sipi William Chino from the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban to render this colorful vote of thanks. Namaskar. Greetings to all of you. On behalf of Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban, I am so delighted today to deliver a vote of thanks on today's program, Rango Tsav. I'd like to thank the following who took part on today's program. Adia Awin and Advika Dadwal for narrating the holy story. Also, I'd like to thank the students of Miss Yukambali Sungaram 
for the dance item. And also I'd like to thank those who performed the Gumar dance today. Now allow me also to thank Mr. Manesh Maharaj for the dance item. And also I'd like to thank the students from Vishwa Shakti for narrating the significance of Holi. And also I'd like to thank Mr. Arnab Patacharya for the holy song that he sang in Bengali. Now also I'd like to thank Mr. Kerim Gavenda and Mr. Manesh Maharaj for the nice song that they performed today. And also we received this evening the holy celebrations by Badavaz Rock Band. Lastly, by the dance group from Kendra Dance Divas for the dance item. To Dr. Chaitana Prakash Yogi, Director of Swami Vivekananda Kacharat Center in Devon, Sristi Harinarayan, Sri Piyush Kandelwal, thank you very much to all of you for taking part on today's program. To all those who participated, online viewers, I'd like to say to all of you, Daniela, for taking part on today's program. You are kindly advised to visit our Facebook page so that you will be updated about all cultural activities organized by Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center in Devon. To all of you, you are such a wonderful people. Have a wonderful evening. Namaskar.